Hi, it's Karen, and I'm at the Cool Tool Studio today to demonstrate how to torch fire enamels. It's a great way to try your hand at enameling before you invest in a kiln. Let's take a look at what we're going to need for this technique. For this project, I'm going to be working with Thompson unleaded enamels. And if you're just getting into enameling, I highly recommend the Thompson enamel sampler that we sell. It has little baggies of every single color, and it's a great way to find your favorites. We also sell them in these smaller containers, and it's a great way to build up an inventory of colors. Cool Tools also sells these little pre-cut copper shapes and it's a great way to skip all the cutting and get to the fun part of enameling. Today we're going to be using a big shot torch to fire our enamels. And this is a great torch to use for this technique because it's got a larger flame. I'm going to be using a tweezer to help me move and pick up hot pieces. I'm using a tile for my work surface, um, but you can use anything that will kind of give you a heat resistance area. Um, if you have an empty annealing pan, that works great as well because then you can rotate your piece. But I just have a tile and a brick and that's just in case if I were to knock a hot piece over, I'm not going to burn my table. I have a soldering tripod and inside that I have a basket that is used for torch fired enamels. And this is really great because it helps you get your piece up and you can bring the heat below really, really easily. Let's talk about some techniques you can incorporate with torch fired enamel. I'm going to be showing you how to use a torch to fire on a base coat of enamel, but I'll also demonstrate how to use a torch to fire on fine line black overglaze, separation enamel, and sunshine enamel. I'm not going to show you how to apply these techniques because we have other videos in our Cool Tools Learning Center that shows you that. I'll be showing you how you can use a torch to fire them in. Let's get started with firing on that base coat. I have my copper piece with my enamel sifted on it, ready to go in my basket. But before we dive right in, let's talk about the do's and don'ts of torch firing your enamels. You want to make sure that you fire your pieces from below. And there's two reasons for that. If you come from above, the force of the flame will knock your enamel pieces off before it fuses. Also, the nature of the flame discolors your enamel, so you want to heat it from below and keep that top surface nice and clean. Also you'll want to do your counter enamel first and then clean your piece, sift a new layer on the front face and fire that last. You might get some discoloration on your counter enamel. With that said, let's get going. So I've got my Big Shot torch here and you want to have quite a bit of heat for this. And you'll be able to really easily see the enamel go through the stages of being unfused, orange peel, and then even out into a nice, smooth, glossy surface. And I'm going to try to kind of move around my flame and heat the piece evenly. And I can see it's starting to get kind of hot. And the edge there is reaching on peel. And there it is glossing over. So just like that, you've got a layer of enamel on your piece. It's super simple and a great way to get going in enameling. We're gonna let this piece cool and then I'm gonna show you how to fire on fine line black overglaze. I have here an enamel that I laid down a base coat of bitter green and then painted fine line black overglaze on top of. I'm going to place it into my basket. And then for fine line black, when you heat, you want to look for the fine line black to go shiny and gloss. And that means it's fused into your enamel. So we're going to be looking for that. And then once it does reach that stage, you want to pull away your heat. If you heat it too long, your lines can kind of bleed. You'll lose your nice crisp edges.
again, I'm trying to heat my whole piece. And right now, you can see my enamel, my bitter green is turning orange, and it does that as it heats. But my fine line black is still matte, so that's not fired in yet. And this is a bigger piece, so it's going to take a little more time with the torch. And I can see on my edges I'm starting to gloss up there, so we'll get there soon. We're almost there. You can still see just a few spots where it's still a little matte. So I can see that everything's glossed over, and that means it's going to stay fused and it won't scratch off. If it scratches off once it's cool, then you didn't fully fuse it in. I'm going to let this piece cool, and then we're going to move on to separation enamel. For this piece, I laid down a base coat of white, and then put some Milan Gray transparent over top, and then I painted on separation enamel. And again, we have an entire video dedicated to how to apply separation enamel, and today I'm just showing you how to fire it. For this technique, we're going to be looking for separation enamel itself to burn away, and then you will be able to see the enamel colors kind of separate. And once you have the desired effect, you're going to remove your flame. separation enamel beginning to burn away. There it goes. But we're going to keep our heat on until we see the enamel kind of cold. I'm going to allow this to cool, and then we're going to wrap this video up with firing in sunshine enamel. For this sample piece, I put down some white and then painted on some sunshine enamels. When you're firing on sunshine enamel, you have to be a little more careful than we were with the other two techniques. You can burn out your colors, and they are going to change color when you're heating, but you'll want to pull away your heat as soon as your piece kind of glosses and looks shiny. And you can always come back and reheat, but once those colors are burnt out, there's no way to get them back to their original color. So you can always pull away your heat and come back if you have to, but keep a close eye on this one. So my enamel still, so my sunshine enamel still looks a little matte, but I think I'm getting close. All right, and that looks glossy. I'm gonna take a closer look. I kind of have to get down at level with it. And that looks shiny, so it's done. Here are my cooled sample pieces. And I hope that you've realized from this video that using a torch is not only a really quick and easy way to apply enamel, but that you can also test out some more advanced techniques. I also really enjoy torch firing enamels because it's a great way to learn about the process of enameling. You get to see firsthand the enamel turning grainy and being in sugar fire and then moving on to orange peel and fusing out. And you can really see the moment that the fine line black glosses out. In a kiln, when your piece is surrounded by the box and it's red and glowing, it's really hard to see those processes take place. 
So using a torch to fire enamels is a great way to learn the stages of enameling. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to torch firing enamels and you feel like you can give it a try. It's a great way to add some color to your jewelry. Thanks for watching. Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.